Welcome back to the Next Gen Profits Podcast, where your big brother, sister, and mentors, Deborah Ann and Michael Fultzen. Y'all, yesterday's podcast by your spiritual parents really yes. began to open up the catalyst to your adventure into the supernatural. And today, Come we want to go a little bit deeper because as they were talking about how God has been aligning your circumstances, yes. I want you to understand He's been aligning your uh, relationships to really bring out Amen. that full potential to tap into the supernatural. And there is a very important, and I dare say secret superpower yes. you have been sleeping on. And today we want to reveal that superpower to you and give you the step and key you need to begin walking in that character trait and walking in your destiny as a next-gen prophet. Prophets, you know what time it is. It is time to pause this recording, pause this podcast, go and get your notepad, go and get your iPad. This podcast, you are going to receive an impartation of supernatural power that by the end of it, you're going to walk away feeling that impartation, feeling that supernatural gift and that secret power that we're about to reveal to you in this podcast. But wait, you have to get that notepad first. You have to get that iPad and you have to listen and take notes. We want to make sure that you guys are getting everything that you can from these podcasts. Deborah and I and the rest of the team and the Apostles Crane Collette, we're here to help equip you guys. We're here to help to give you these vital tools and directions to help motivate and accelerate your prophetic destiny profit. With that being said, do you have your notebook? Do you have your <laughs> iPad ready? Because we're ready to jump into the topic of love. That's right. Amen. You heard me correctly. Four little word, L-O-V-E. Love is the superpower Amen. of your prophetic destiny, and it is what will unlock the supernatural power yes. within you. You see, above all of the fivefold offices, now you see, I'm, I'm going to be a little boastful. <laughs> I'm going to be a little prideful because yes. out of all of the fivefold, we Amen. as prophets are called to walk in the ministry Amen. of love the most. Yes. And I call it a ministry of love because it is something that has to be learned. It is something that has to be deliberate. Yes. Nobody accidentally walks up to a sick person, lays hands on no. them, and they get healed. It's not an accident. You have to be oh. deliberate in the revelation and the prayer and walking up to that person to yes. say, you will be healed in the name of Jesus. And it requires Amen. the ministry of love. And as a next-gen prophet, as a prophetic champion, this is the core of your prophetic character yes. and of your prophetic destiny. Yes, amen. You see, guys, love is an untapped mm -hmm. market. We've been having mentorship meetups in our tribe. We've been having tribe meetings and tribe one-on-ones with a lot of our members. And one of the things that stood out the most was love. Mm. Love is the key. It is. I love this word. Love is the catalyst mm -hmm. to understanding your walk in the prophetic as a prophet, mm. to understand the supernatural power. Throughout the scripture, the number one word used is love. Mm -hmm. Just think about it, guys. Think about the power that love has over your life. Mm, come on. You know, Pastor Jessica did that podcast on who hurt you to love your enemies. And it was a hot topic in our tribe. It was, it was a hot topic in our Next Gen Prophets podcast because we had podcast listeners writing in. We had podcast listeners trying to say, okay, my person that is persecuting me, now you're telling me I need to love them. And they did that. They did the steps of love. Mm. They did the steps of, you know what? I'm not going to repay evil for evil, but I'm going to repay evil for love. Mm. I'm going to love back. I'm going to speak blessing over them. And you know what happened? Their circumstances changed like that. Mm -hmm. The person that was doing evil unto them started to realize something was happening in their spiritual life. Mm. Something was happening in their spiritual life and they started to realize that, wait a minute, God is at work here, yeah, not the on. person that I'm mad at. Mm -hmm. Oh, this person that I loved on, their circumstances started flowing. Their blessings started flowing. Their finances started flowing. They found favor. We had some members call in, mm -hmm. Deborah, this week. Guys, I'm passionate about this. We had some members call in and they said, I loved on my boss today and I just got a promotion at my job. Come on. A simple act that has been repeated in scripture from Genesis Two revelations. It has been repeated. Story after story. Allegory after allegory. Parable after parable. Mm -hmm. Gospel after gospel. Book after book. Love is the key because it is your superpower, prophet. 
1 Corinthians 13 tells us that you could have all the prophecies in the world. You could have all yes. the revelation in the world. But if you don't have that love to give, all of it is meaningless. It falls to the ground and it does yeah. not produce that fruit that you need to begin to see the supernatural activate in your life. And I want to take you on a little bit of a journey here. I want you to backtrack with me in time. I want you to look through mm. the word starting at Genesis at the very first act of love, which was the creation of our world, the creation of you and me yes. and of our entire universe. God yeah. created us and this world because He wanted something to love. Come on. He wanted something to pour His Amen. love down into and invest into. And so we were birthed into this earth. And through that, when I look through the scripture and I see some of the most powerful miracles that took place, the deliverance of the Israelites through Egypt, the parting of the yep. Red Sea, you yep. see all of these miracles that happened because of God's love. God delivered yes. the Israelites out of Egypt because He loved them and He heard His children crying out, asking for deliverance. They said, God, send a deliverer. Deliver yes. us from the hands of the Egyptians. Deliver us from this persecution, God. Get us out of here. And so He aligned the circumstances to bring Moses to, play, to being and allow him to become the deliverer of Amen. the Israelites. Amen. Peter, walking on water, Amen. he says, uh, who are you? Are you really the Messiah? And so Jesus loves Peter. Yep. He loves Peter and he says, you know what? Let me prove myself to you. Let me show come you who on. I really am. Come, Peter, get up out come of the on. boat. Come walk to me. Walk on water yep. and come to yep. me. And Peter walks on water. Again and again, we see these moments of supernatural yeah. power yeah. happening because yeah. of none other than love. Prophets, just think about the most famous scripture that everybody around the world knows. John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. Everybody remembers the scripture. Everybody paraphrases. Everybody uses the scripture all the time. Mm. But you're missing the key point here. For God so loved, He gave His only Son. He loved you, prophet. Mm, come on. He loved you and He chose you and He called you. Amen. You are here listening to us because God ordained you and has called you Amen. in love. Yes, yes. It's not an accident, guys. It's not an accident that you stumbled across this podcast. It's not an accident that you stumbled across our video. It's not an accident. Yep. But I want you to come back to the basics like the word says. And let's start beginning to love. God is arranging your circumstances yes. to yes, create in you a character of love. One that cannot be easily shaken. One that can minister when they see that cripple walking on the street. The love oh, just overwhelms you. The love of Jesus just comes up out of you. And with that love comes the faith that um, you need oh. to produce hope mm -hmm. in the life of that person yep. to receive the healing. Because the greatest of these is faith, hope, and love. Oh. This is the core yes. of your walk as a prophetic yes. champion. And I want you to take a moment to really consider all the ways that the enemy is stealing your love today. Ooh. He is stealing your yes. love through injustice. He is stealing your love through that offense. He is stealing yes. that love through that unfair and unjust accusation. Come on, we're in ministry. Let's be honest. There are many people <laughs> yes. talking behind our backs, oh. talking about how we should be doing things better or how we are tormenting God's people. Oh my goodness, you're in full-time ministry. Those kind of accusations it's an everyday are a occurrence. A and you have a choice to make in that Come moment. On. You could be spending the rest of your life shutting down the, heater, the haters and telling them what's right and mm. what's wrong and the truth of the matter. Or you could pour out love instead. Exactly. Father, forgive exactly. them for they know not what they do. This was Jesus' final act on this earth yep. of yep. love to forgive his enemies. Oof. He prayed for them just as Pastor Jessica was teaching us in last week's podcast. Yep. He prayed for them. He yep. interceded on their behalf and said, Father, don't Amen. see their sin. Don't see how they are murdering and crucifying your son. No, forgive them. Bless yes. them because they don't know what they're doing. Yes. And when you make this conscious effort to mm. begin repaying evil for good, you begin a transformation not only in Come your on. mind, but in your spirit that unlocks the power of that heaven right there. through love. You create a direct connection yes. Yes. between your spirit and the realm of heaven that becomes supercharged and expresses that power of the supernatural Amen. and will manifest it Amen. here on earth. Amen. No, there's someone listening over here. You're waiting for your circumstances to come in line. 
You're waiting for your situations to come in line. Prophet of God, Prophet of God, listen to your big brother. Yep. It is time to love. Yes, it is. Those that persecute you, it is time to love. Mm-hmm. It is time to lay down your sword and your shield and to actually open your arms wide mm-hmm. and say, I forgive you. Jesus, the word says that he was led like a lamb to the slaughter, yet he said not a word. Mm. He was persecuted Mm. unjustly. He was whipped unjustly. Prophet of God, it is time that you love, even in your persecution, even when you are wronged, and you know that you are just in what you are saying. Be like Jesus. Can we see a little bit more of that in the church? Oh, honestly, we're seeing less and less of love in the church, less and less of Jesus in the church. And it is time, prophets, that you realize that you need to love because like Deborah just said, it is the catalyst to unlock your supernatural power into this earth. So, prophet, let's take some time to begin renewing our minds and pouring out in love. This church is broken. Yes, yes. There are many of those you see around that are walking a sinful life and maybe the one thing they need to bring them (laughs) to Jesus is somebody to love them enough. Love them enough to see past their nasty character and see the heart that Jesus gave His only Son for. The heart that needs prayer. The heart that needs intercession. The heart that is bold enough to come up to them and give them a hug and say, Hey, I love you. And Jesus loves you. And we're going to do this together. And I want to give a recommendation. If you haven't already listened to this MP3, and even if you have, go listen to it again. I want you to go to ColetteToachStore.com and get this MP3 called At Liberty to Love. It will transform that heart that has been hardened by life and turn it into that catalyst of love that you need to tap into this destiny of yours. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just unlock the doors of favor and blessing over these listeners, over these viewers. Father, their circumstances where they are being persecuted against, where they are facing struggles in their lives. Mm. Lord, I unlock your love inside of them that they may pour out in your love, Jesus. That they may pour out in your power and in your anointing to show love to those that come against them. To show love to and blessing, Father, over them now in the name of Jesus. Those of you that have been crying out for change, we speak for favor and an abundance of love, Mm -hmm. Jesus, that they may come to know you in your relationship with them, Father. Amen. We're your big brother and sister. We're here for you every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Go to MyPropheticTribe.com, chat to us, reach out to us, send in an application, let us know your name. I want to get connected. We hand over the baton to Pastor Jessica. Bye for now, guys. Bye now, guys. Thank you.